How good is Matthew Stafford? Okay, so I think this is where you start with Matthew Stafford. He is truly one of the most gifted, best arms in the history of the sport. That's the first place you have to start. Now, he gets overshadowed because he's in a division with Aaron Rodgers at times. But regardless, Stafford is been a one-man show up there, really. Uh, I know Calvin Johnson's there, and that really seems to always be the pushback whenever I say anything positive about that. But, you know, I don't understand it because we don't ever dock any other quarterbacks. Like, are we going to take away Joe Montana's whole career? Because he had Jerry Rice. He had Jerry Rice. He couldn't have been that great. But to add to the point either way with Stafford, Stafford is a phenomenal athlete with a team that has not been good around him. Like you said there a minute ago, the offensive line, it really just till lately have they tried to put some people in front of him. no pass protection. Both both those teams, actually, Carolina and yes. Detroit. It's, but it's not just their players. I would say it's also their management, their oh, offense, their game without plans. Without a doubt, every, yes. Like both of them would have won almost in, in a lot of other places. Without without question. These guys, are, these guys are Super Bowl quarterbacks. I don't care if they ever get to a Super Bowl again or don't. They are that caliber of guy to where if they just had a little help, they can bring a team there consistently. But Matt Stafford, I mean, how many years has it been for since he's been a hundred uh, had a hundred yard rusher? I didn't look it up. I didn't come here like trying to like show you every stat in the world. No, but, but you really like, did since, come like, in here and just boss the shipping container well, around. You waved a hand at them. And, Somebody well, I, looked this up for me. It's like, you mean, been, did you mean a thousand yard rusher? A thousand yard you rusher. Said 100, it's a fun. Well, either way, that's what I'm saying. He hasn't had a hundred yard rusher in a game since like 2013. Thousand yard rushers don't exist. Most people can't even name who's the running back for the Detroit Lions, do guts? No. Exactly idea. right. Nobody gives a damn. Nobody cares. It's goes Matt Stafford, drop back, and oh, it's the fourth quarter and we're down by ten. Can you please make magic happen? And then occasionally, because his team's not as good, he throws an interception in those scenarios and we go, Whoa, Stafford screwed it up. He lost the game for us. And I would argue and go, Well, no, damn, they're not in the game if Matt Stafford doesn't make some of the plays he makes right. to keep them in it. And I think that's what gets lost in translation sometimes a quarterback with the stats and the win-loss record defenses. I mean, has he ever – tell me some quality defensive players he's ever had with him other than Ndamukong Sue at the start of his career. Really not much. So that's my feeling on him. He is tremendously physically gifted and another guy that I just think is uh, extremely underappreciated because of the team and the coaches and the organization that's been surrounding him throughout his career. Wow.